a woman in West Palm Beach says she has been forced to go through this month's dangerous heat wave without air conditioning. She reached out to WPBF 25 News for help and to get some answers. Steve King spoke with her and shares why she says her condo association needs to take action fast. Joyce Sasser says it's been unbearable living in her home without air conditioning since July 9th, especially with this intense heat wave we've been having. And while she has some circulation because she spent about $700 on portable AC units like these, she says her condominium association needs to fix this problem right away. And I haven't had any since the Freon ran, Freon ran out of the pipe. Joyce says when that happened, her AC company told her the problem was not in her unit, but under her building, where there's a leaking pipe under the foundation. They said the repairs will cost $2,900. But she says her condo association, Whitehall Condominiums of the Villages of Palm Beach Lakes Association Incorporated, told her even though the problem is under the building, she needed to get a permit from the city as well as other documentation. Then the association said it would still be up to a condo board vote. She says that process took a couple weeks, but there's still no imminent board vote she's aware of. You can't have an HOA or a condominium association dictating to you that you're not entitled to get your AC repaired. It's frustrating. It's absolutely frustrating. While it's a little cooler outside today than it's been, the lowest temperature she can get her condo to is 79. But she says it's been far worse than that. An oven, an absolute oven. Joyce does whatever she can to cool off, including sitting in her car with the AC blasting or taking cold showers. A cancer survivor, she says she had to go to the emergency room this week for stress. There's no reason for me to be to suffer for two weeks. There's none. And right now it's still unclear when Joyce is going to possibly get her AC fixed. Reporting in West Palm Beach, Steve King, WPBF 25 News.